And then when they reach it, Allah says, at the doors of Jannah, and the door is opened, the angels who are standing to welcome the people, they say to them the first word. What do you think they say first thing? Peace. Because this is what we're all yearning for. We're yearning for the everlasting comfort of peace in our heart and for the rest of our life physically, in our feelings, in our ears, with what we see, with how we speak. And that's the first thing the angels say. Salamun alaykum. Peace is all upon you. Tibetum. Oh, how pure and wonderful you are. Fadkhuluha khalidin. Now enter it. Everlasting entrance. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I want to describe that moment when you're about to enter Jannah and then as you enter it, inshallah ta'ala. In the books of Tafsir, and I relate authentic hadiths, inshallah. You come to the doors of Jannah and you don't enter it straight away because guess who has to open the door? He is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he grabs the ring. Allahu alam what that ring looks like. Allah only knows the perfect description of this door. It's a marvelous door. Huge door. Very wide. Hundreds of kilometers wide in fact. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's doors to Jannah are wide. And his generosity is immense. The first one to knock on it is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the guardian behind the door, the angel, asks, Who is it? And he says with all humbleness, Ana Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I am Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the angel says, Bika umirta al umirtu alla aftaha illa lak, ilayk, or lak. It is you who I have been commanded to not open the door to anyone but you. And the door is opened. He is the one privileged our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine brothers and sisters, if you are the first group that enters with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, the other people who are waiting, you see people come in lines. And as you come to the uh, doors of Jannah, there is like a waiting area. And the doors get crowded. The doors get very crowded according to the hadith, even though they are hundreds of kilometers wide. And the people want to race in there. And there are people waiting. So you're waiting there. And the first thing that you are given is to quench your thirst. After all this time of waiting in the day of judgment, you are given wine, which is mixed with ginger, to refresh yourself in the waiting area. And you are with these beautiful people with bright faces. They're all smiling, they're all cheerful. They're all telling you, come and read my book. And you say, read mine. And they say, well, you know, what about mine? Look what I've done here. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has wiped away all the sins. No one knows them. They're a secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you begin to boast about your books out of happiness. And no one feels jealous of anyone else for some reason. The feelings are starting to change. Because Allah says in the Quran, We, have, we will take out from their hearts every bad feeling, no jealousy, no hatred, no envy, no competition, none of that. And everybody's happy for everyone else. In fact, everyone's happy for what they've received. And then the entrance begins. Your name is called out one by one. And you enter Jannah one by one. And you are called by the best names that used to be called in this world and by your father's names with the best of names. As you enter into Jannah, you get lost in the beauty of what you hear, what you see, and who you meet. Everybody runs off to their own palaces, their own belongings. Al Rasul tells us in the Sahih Hadith that a person will go to their palace and to their property and they'll know exactly where it is, exactly as they knew their homes in this world and even better. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala suddenly puts in your heart the know how of how to get to your property. You know it because it belongs to you. And everybody's busy. They want to go and see their property. They want to see their spouses. They want to see the angels. They want to see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for them. 